Hi, this is Jeff McQuillan coming to you from beautiful Los Angeles, California, and ESLPOD.com. Today I want to talk about the uses of the word zero in English. Zero, as you already know, means nothing when you have no items, no things. You have zero things. But zero is also used in a couple of other expressions in English. The first expression is a phrasal verb to zero in on something. I'm going to zero in on the problem. To zero in on a problem means to focus on it, to get closer, if you will. To zero in on an issue or to zero in on a person would be to focus your attention on that person. Get closer in the sense of trying to understand more about that specific thing or that specific person. We might say, we hope scientists are zeroing in on the causes for the common cold. And actually, they might be, so it appears. To zero in then means to focus on that specific issue or problem, to get a better understanding of it, to see it, if you will, more clearly. Notice that this phrasal verb is a little bit different in that there are actually two prepositions that typically go with it. To zero in is the phrasal verb, but it is almost always followed by another preposition, on. So you zero in on something. A second common expression with zero is zero tolerance. Tolerance is when you allow something. A tolerant person is a person who is able to accept many different ways of living or many different kinds of people. However, zero tolerance has to do with the laws or regulations of a place or even an organization when it comes to things like using drugs or drinking. In our schools, for example, many schools have a zero tolerance policy. That is, the, the regulations are that even if you have one drug offense, one time that you're caught drinking or taking drugs, you are removed from the school. That would be an example of zero tolerance, where only one mistake is all you get. And after that, you are removed or perhaps even arrested if it's a zero tolerance law. Another expression with zero is from zero to hero. A hero is someone who does something great, who is able to uh, win a big game, for example or someone who does something wonderful for other people. That would be a hero. So to go from zero to hero means to go from a situation where you weren't doing very well at all, you weren't doing anything, and suddenly you are the best at what you do or you have done something great. From zero to hero. The best way for you to go from zero to hero when it comes to English is our unlimited English membership. Take a look at eslpod.com for more information. If you like this video, please like us, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and share us with your friends and family. From beautiful Los Angeles, California, I am Jeff McQuillan. Thanks for watching.